Hey guys, this time on Deep Junk, it's Halloween time. And um, in front of you is a uh, uh, skull crusher. That's a nice name for a children's toy. Skull crusher. Mara, see? Skull crusher. Gotta crush your skull, kid. See? Mara. At any rate, <laughs> for the Halloween build, this is uh, part of um, a build off between five or six of us. Uh, Jamie at uh, Devil's uh, Details Diecast, he put the challenge out, uh, and uh, the only rule was, well, a couple rules, we were to use this car, which he provided, uh, we're going to drop the videos uh, October 30th, and the 31st we would pick a commenter from that video to give it away to. So, this is so far out of my wheelhouse it's not funny. I like to be um, challenged, but it's nothing I would ever go and buy for myself. Hey Luna, it's a skull crusher. I think I'm gonna challenge myself. No, nope. I never would have done it. Uh, so with that being said, uh, there's no real direction that I have for the car. Uh, as I record this, I've had the thing for not quite a week yet, and. I had some parts in mind, but the, there's some things I want to try, so it's going to be a trial and error kind of thing. And uh, the good news is, <laughs> one of you guys could own this car. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned, and we'll see what happens here. Um, <laughs> it's either going to be really, really great, and I'll look like some damn kind of genius, and we'll have, we'll have tripped over it, or I will look like a real idiot. <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned. Already on the Skull Crusher, we've got three basic pieces. Um, the top, which is uh, white plastic, got the skull cab, I guess you'd want to call it, with the uh, with them bones down there. Um, I went ahead and drilled it. I've got a small hole back here um, started so I can run a screw up in it. The front one got broke. Did it? Did. Oh no. So I'm gonna have to fix that up. When I drilled into it, I went, uh, I went into it like I was gonna drill some die cast, but it was plastic. So that'll learn me. Uh, the inside, I guess, the uh, eyeballs and <laughs> what have you. Blue, uh, transparent glass window thing. And lastly, our chassis, which is metal. Um, with some kind of an exhaust. Looks like over here. Transparent blue. Yeah, so, yeah, I got it's got that going for it. Alrighty. Okay. Update on Skull Crusher. I'm sorry I haven't really been filming too much on this. This one is just set to the side and I uh, do a little bit of it here and there and I have not uh, been videoing like I should. We did it, uh, took it apart, um, got rid of the uh, tampo that was on the top there, on top of a skull. Um, Got rid of the big old white wheels and stuff. So I'm gonna have to do something with this blue base. I'm not really feeling the blue, but one thing at a time. The skull, I just started messing around with red. I did uh, red with tan, and then I did a little bit of red with brown uh, to get it kind of a bloody meat type of look on uh, each end of the rib bones there the skull popped a little hole in the front of it there so dude either took a bullet to the forehead or maybe an ice pick or something ooh that'd be cool huh scary ooh. <clears throat> and just traced out some of the crack marks on it 
Um, so I've just been playing a little bit here and there to see what makes a, a look that I like. Um, I think a big part of a project like this is knowing when to say when and, you know, stop, stop with the blood and shit and, uh, I'll play around with it for a little bit longer. I've got uh, wheel and tire picked out, and I want to try a maybe red for the chassis. It's something that's a uh, like a I don't know, like a, a candy red, something that's transparent on the base. It's got some that thing around the back is kind of cool. And around the back there. I did uh, center those, what should be exhaust. I'll drill up in there and open those up. And that's your nickel tour, nickel update for the Skull Crusher. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, here's our Skull Crusher. It is mocked up. I've got the wheel and tire on it that I want to use. Uh, most of the skull and the ribs and that the detail that's on it now is going to stay uh, The blue base I think I will Try to do something else with make it a little darker I have to have to open up this exhaust what what it comes out below here uh, in the back I'm going to open that up in the chassis and uh, See if I can keep some detail like that skull in the back side of it there But it's pretty cool coming along uh, halfway is decent I'm I'm just you know playing as I go along I don't do these kind of things and so I'm just uh, yeah it's like practice for me already already get about ready to do assemble a skull crusher we got a few more things done to it uh, the base uh, it was uh, slotted and, and cut uh, V cut for uh, the axles front and rear. The uh, at the very front on this transparent blue base, I used a transparent red, uh, and I noticed on this camera these reds are looking way brighter. The skull and the blood and stuff on, and then even this is looking real bright. It's uh, almost a dark. It's almost black and in light it looks kind of like a purple um, there is a bit of blood coming out of the center grill and the one over here on the right side um, he said I did I just slotted the uh, the base for the uh, axles and with it slotted that way when the uh, lens is in place it holds uh, in place perfect and there's no need for axle tubes on this one uh, I did uh, keep the transparent uh, thing here blue uh, the offsets of the red that's going to be all over the thing and shot the uh, front piece here in black because you can see just through the uh, ribs uh, the blue that was down there so I just darked that out uh, the body uh, knocked the shine off with the uh, green scuff pad uh, like I said I did that mixture it was a uh, brown and uh, red uh, with some tan to make it lighter in some different places uh, all down the center of the spine and then on the outward uh, the outer tips of the bones we got a bullet hole up here in the forehead uh, looks like a little blood come out the uh, eye sockets there yeah nice kids toy <laughs> ah shit what happened to the lights can't see a damn thing. Did you hear that? Ah! Alrighty guys, how was that? That was scary, huh? Uh, I have not been that frightened since my ex-wife um, said that she just wanted to be friends and made me a cup of coffee. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is uh yeah it's uh not something i do every day um 
when I was a kid I did a lot of art and drawing around but I did a lot of uh, uh, cars and cartoonish kind of stuff and uh, uh, art teachers at school used to get all crazy about you know draw whatever you want when I draw a car then they'd get stupid and get all mad at me uh, they uh, I mean I knew how to draw a vase for Christ's sake uh, still life I mean I know how to do shadows and you know shading and stuff like that so, but uh, so I had uh, a little experience in drawing uh, different shapes bones skulls things like that but I'd never tried to make one kind of come to life um, make it like meat and blood appear on the on the damn thing um, so what I did on this car is I the uh, blue base on it I blew a little transparent red right at the front let it go blow backwards on it uh, it comes out uh, on this on the picture it's just showing like a I don't even know what you want to call it, just black uh, it's actually what I'm looking at is a dark purple and you have blood coming out of the uh, the grill there at the one side and in the center um, going up through the, the center here I should have given this guy a name um, we've got our I mixed the red and tan and some with red and brown to get different shades of the the uh, meat and the blood coming off the center there and then uh, go down towards the ends um, dry brushed a lot of the, the color around mixing some uh, black and some darker colors in with it um, and see there's the one that on the camera it almost looks pink but it's not um, this guy is crying <laughs> uh, probably because he got smacked in the head up here I don't know use your imagination bullet wound ice pick you know I don't know you tell me we've got uh, of course our steel wheels and wide white uh, there was some grays and that, and that uh, powders uh, put on the skull I used a green scuff pad to knock the shade the shine off of it and then some of those grays just to give it some shadow some dirt some you know uh, some depth and uh, right around back we've got our skull head on the back with a little uh, there's some candy red over top of that just so you know stay back don't get too close <laughs> and that's it that is the skull crusher a wonderful children's toy <laughs> now here's your chance guys this can all be yours uh, drop a comment down below uh, tell me whatever you like you like the car you don't like the car you like me you don't like me your life story I don't know how you know are you allergic to milk uh, so today, uh, everybody who leaves a comment, I will take the names tomorrow, and we will be picking a winner, and it's the same with the other guys who are uh, doing this. I believe uh, Outlaw Speed Shop, Die, is it Diecast Graveyard? I'll have to check. I'll, I'll leave some names down here who's doing it. Uh, of course, Devil's uh, Details Diecast, uh, myself. So you could have up to what, five or six chances if you uh, go check everyone out and uh, drop a comment. And then, like I said, tomorrow on the 31st, we pull a name and have some uh, lucky winners. The uh, rest of the guys in the community, there's going to be some guys doing Halloween-type builds. Put in Halloween build uh, in your search and uh, and and go look, look at it, uh, check them out, see what they're doing. If you dig the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I want to thank everyone for checking this out, uh, giving me a shot, uh, subscribing if you have. I appreciate everybody, and we will see you, well, we'll see you tomorrow and pick a winner, and then we'll see you on the next build, too.